In this example, we've been given a function d of x, which is a logistic function. We've also been given a little graph of the function. They tell us that in this function, x represents the years since 2000. And they tell us that d of x represents the percent of residential internet access that's still dial up. So notice it peaks at 100. That is actually the high end limit of this function. They can't have more than 100% of the people using dial up. And it also is minimum at zero. It can't get below 0% of the people using dial up. So part A asks us first, is the function increasing or decreasing? And we can see as you travel left to right, the function is definitely decreasing. And what would that mean? It means as you travel left to right, meaning as the years increase, the percent of people using dial-up decreases. Part B asks to identify the right tail behavior. That's asking us to identify the behavior of the function values, the behavior of the y values, as x increases to infinity. So if you look at the graph, you can see on the right tail, as you walk to the right, the y values get closer and closer to zero. In limit notation, we'd be saying the limit as x diverges to infinity of the function d of x is zero. As x diverges to infinity, d of x gets closer and closer to zero. So in real world terms, we're saying as the x gets higher, as the years get higher, the d of x gets closer to zero, meaning the percent of people using dial-up approaches zero. Part C asks us to estimate the inflection point of the function using the graph. This is just an estimate. Later in the semester, we'll learn how to go about finding the exact value of the inflection point. So for now, we're seeking the point on the function where it changes from being concave down, see it's decreasing concave down, to where it becomes decreasing concave up. So clearly over here, it's concave up, and up here, it's concave down. So where does that change occur? Somewhere in between here. So I'm gonna go ahead and say it's about right here. And I'm gonna say that, that I'm estimating that point to be about input value x equals four, output value y equals 50. So we're saying about four years after 2000. So in 2004, is where that inflection point occurs. Now, what's the meaning of that? You see, at that point of inflection, this is actually where the graph is decreasing at the fastest rate. The graph is steepest right there. Decreasing concave down behavior, this function is on the left side over here, decreasing at a very shallow rate. And as it gets closer and closer to the inflection point, the graph is decreasing at a steeper and steeper rate. It's decreasing at a faster and faster rate. So in 2004, when that inflection point occurs, that is when the dial-up customers are decreasing at the fastest rate per year. After that point, you see that the customers continue to decline, the percent continues to decline, but it's declining at a slower and slower rate per year. By the time you get over here to year 25, you see that it's decreasing at a, just a snail's pace, almost flat over here. Whereas at year four, it's decreasing at the steepest rate, the fastest rate of decrease. Part D asks us to identify the interval where the function is decreasing concave down. That occurs from zero up to four, or if you prefer to go before x equals zero, you might say that it's decreasing from negative infinity to four, because technically I don't know when this function started actually making sense as a model. But if we start at year zero, year 2000, we'd say it's decreasing concave down from year zero to year four. That's saying that from 2000 to 2004, dial-up is decreasing faster and faster each year. 
You might also say that from 2000 to 2004, dial-up is decreasing more and more each year. It's a small amount of decrease from year zero to year one. It's an even higher amount of decrease from year one to year two. By the time you get to year four, it's decreasing the fastest rate possible on this graph. And then it says part E, identify where the function is decreasing concave up. That happens from year four and after. So from 2004 on, the dial-up is decreasing at a smaller and smaller rate each year.